What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. Today we're going to be talking about the Madden Championship that just wrapped up on May 14th, 2017. Problem right in Skimbo. Uh, I'm going up against ESPND in this game, but I'm gonna, it's going to be like two games in this video. So you guys can go ahead and watch the gameplay. I'm just going to talk about what I saw, especially with the, uh, the semifinal with Joke and Problem. Um, you know, Problem right, in my opinion, he has to be considered to go. I'm going to tell you why. Madden is a... It's, it's the type of game where you're gonna need luck in certain instances and I'm not saying that his two ret what was it, like two returns he had on Joe and then he also had one on Skimbo that I was just like what the F is going on um, but he comes up big in the biggest moments that's why oh pick that. that that's why you guys have to really give credit to problem right but ultimately that game against Joe that was Joe's game you know what I'm saying like listen man he was, you know, Problem was having a lot of trouble scoring regularly. He did move the ball uh, when he needed to, but he was having a lot of problems scoring on Joke's defense. So kudos to Joke, man. That was a very, very tough game, but special teams was just really, really crazy. But moving forward to the actual game with him and Skimbo, you see, I'm Skimbo has consistently throughout the year been probably one of the best offensive players. And, uh, you know, even last year when he was playing, he had that nice defensive scheme. I think he was running under, 4-3 uh, under last year. Uh, that little cover two Sam Blitz. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he always has something that he sticks to and he's very He gets very very good at it and he just continues to you know to grow throughout the year uh, It was very good to see him, you know come up big and win um, But people don't realize something you got to give problem a lot of credit for a guy that, to be on the scene For so long and consistently be in the running for number one. That's huge now You know people are gonna say yeah, bro, but first place, you know second place is first loser You're gonna try to make fun of him whatever uh, we had to go ahead and swerve this boy right quick. Um, but it's not even about that, bro. It's about the brand. It's about what he's doing. It's about, you know, his passion and his love. Until you do something that you truly love, you wouldn't understand it. You know what I'm saying? That's what he loves doing. So, you know, get him past all that. I want to congratulate Skimbo. Uh, for everybody that was in the chat with me holding it down, you know, doing hashtag TSG, everything like that as we grow with GMI's world as well. Thank you very much for that. But uh, we saw the Madden 18 trailer. All right, so now we're going to talk about moving forward to Madden 18. And if you guys want me to break down the Madden 18 trailer, I could definitely do that for you. Just leave it in the comments to, uh, so I can let you guys know what I'm thinking about it and what I've heard. Um, obviously, after EA Play, you'll be able to see a little bit more. But, uh, you know, Madden 18, you know, a lot of things in this game, as far as the drop, the drops are huge. Though th That's one of the things that I think that EA Sports really got the memo on, and they're going to be looking to fix that, the drop... It's never been a year. You know what? It's you know what's crazy about it. If you played Madden 16, when your guys often didn't drop the ball, you appreciate that. But you don't appreciate the fact that you are able to aggressive catch anyone at any time in Madden 16. So it's like it's kind of a double-edged sword. So when you look at the way that the features of the game completely change, and you know the ball physics as uh, aspect of it, where you can't actually pick up a fumble. You see those? Okay, yeah. Derek Henry just trapped me. Trapped my mom's too. It, it's a situation where you have to understand that. Madden 18 being on the Frostbite engine, the Frostbite to me, based on looking at the FIFA, like looking at FIFA, and I, I downloaded the demo and I played FIFA, which is on Frostbite. The graphics appear to be very, very good. That I, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give that to you. The, the graphics are just like they're out of this world. It's it's unbelievable the way that it looks. Now the way it's gonna uh, you know translate with Madden, we have yet to see. I, I am happy though that as far as the Madden uh, developers go. They have been listening and doing a lot of things. You got to remember something. A lot of the stuff that was patched in Madden 17 didn't really need to be patched, but it was developers, uh, you know, listening to people that were, you know, saying a lot of the different things uh, about the gameplay that made certain things start to happen. Because once you patch something, something else, you can't patch the game without something else going crazy. And we all know that. We've been living it for the last two years. So we know that. Um, and I just want to keep on letting you guys understand this. When Madden 16 was released, that game was fine, okay? That, in my opinion, that game was fine. It was nothing wrong with Madden 16. Everything was blockable, even though they had the crazy edge heat and all that stuff. It's when the patches started happening that the game got completely out of control. But let's move forward again, like I was saying, to Madden 18. Looking at all the specs and everything that people are talking about within regards with the game, it doesn't seem like a lot of the animations are gonna really be taken out of the game. And like I said, I can break down the trailer for you guys for Madden 18. All you gotta do is let me know by leaving it in the comments. Like, yo, G-Mike, can you, you know, do me a solid right quick and let me know what you think about the trailer and we could get right to that. So, it, it, it's, 
it's very, very unique in the, in the fact that regardless of what happens with Madden 18, I'm gonna still buy it. Let me just say that right away. Because a lot of people run up at the mouth and be like, yo, bro, I'm done with Madden. Some people are strong enough to stay away. You know what I'm saying? And some people are strong enough to quit crap on the first try. Listen, I don't wanna experiment with that. I don't know if I would be able to, but the whole objective of Madden 18 now is to kind of, they're gonna focus on a lot of the things that they got feedback from from Madden 17 because you could say what you want to say about the developers and about oh they don't know what they're doing and stuff like that but if you look at the transition right from 16 to 17 you can see that they understood that aggressive catching was out of control which is why they made you know the swap button in some cases uh, you know a little bit more OP but you were able to more or less play a little bit more one-on-one -on -one. if you guys know what I'm talking about if you guys are click on guys you guys know what I'm talking about. You were able to more or less, see those drops like that, those are the things that I don't expect to see a lot of wide open drops, but I do expect traits, like they were saying, um, I was uh, reading an article about it. As far as traits go, traits are going to matter a lot more in Madden 18. And then you got the different play styles and all that stuff like that. So there's a lot of things to look forward to with it. But all in all, the, a lot of like, you know, like the double juke that was in Madden 16, I think that that was fine. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to really have stick and know when to use it. And you could also counter it, but they took it out and they gave you other more generic animations with Madden 17, which kind of, you know, it kind of, it dumbed down the, um, the run game a little bit. And it also made some people better. You know, some guys had, you know, massive stick where they could just use a regular stick, bro, and not even use any of the juke animations and, and just juke you out your shoes. So they did add a little bit of what I like to call free form to Madden 17. So, moving forward with 18, you, you guys got to understand something. It's not going to be that much different as far as mechanical because I think where they're headed with it as far as like, you know, like the control, like with the rack, the aggressive catch, the way that they're trying to design the game to give that more simulation feel, I don't think they're going to go away from that. I do think that they're going to give you a little bit more counter actions to it. I do think that block shedding will remain the same because in my opinion, depending on the mode that you play, Block shedding is, I didn't really have an issue for the most part with block shedding. I, I don't know why a lot of people complained about it as much. I know sometimes it just come in automatically, but even in regular NFL games, dudes come in right away also. I, I haven't really seen it where it was like continuous block shedding like for all three downs or whatever like that, but you know, I, I see, I've seen a lot of complaints about that. I don't really think they're gonna take much away from the block shedding because that's actually something that you could argue is more realistic. It, it's like the timing for the game of when you watch football, how fast a D lineman will get into the backfield. Especially if you're, if you're um, you know what I'm saying, like you got four down linemen and you're running a four three. Yeah, go ahead, get stripped. But what I do expect them to try to fix is the dollar. Well, you got three down linemen and that was the best run defense in the game, in my opinion. That defense locked up every run. And it's three down linemen. With linebackers and, you know, you had some, you know, you got some nickelbacks and whatever in there. And dudes just completely locked the run down with the three down linemen set. Those things I, I hear that they're going to be working on as far as, you know, trying to make the run game a little bit more realistic and having the right, amount, right, the right amount of people there would definitely influence it. But we have yet to see what's going on. EA Play is about a month away or something like that. I, I don't remember what the date was, uh, but we'll get to see some of the stuff and what's happening with it and, um, you know, continue to see what to expect. But I will tell you this. I don't think the catch animations are going to go anywhere. I just think that they're going to tone down some of the animations and they're going to give more defensive control to the user. That's pretty much what I've been getting from everything that I've been reading. Um, and they were, they, they, they actually were headed on the right path with 17, you know, coming from 16, because you did have a lot more uh, of a feel of, def of defense. Look at what happened with Problem Right when he played Voltorex. He was able to actually stop, strafe up, and intercept the swerve. So they, you know, they've made a lot of progress because that wasn't possible in uh, Madden 16. So, like I said, if you guys want me to break down the Madden 18 trail, I'll give you feedback on that, what I'm thinking about it. Uh, for the guys, like I said, that were in the uh, Madden Championship uh, EA Twitch stream, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Welcome to G Myers World. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that like. I'm going to see you guys later with some gameplays. Until next time, one love.